Welcome to All Pro Football 2K8 Franchise. Here we are in week 4 of Season 8. And we're going against Patrick Anderson and the Stallions. Now, I believe over the offseason they lost their star running back Hunter Salamander. He's with the Bullheads. So, this team has lost uh, a lot of talent lately. But first, let's look at the power ranking. So, in week 4... Uh, the red gig is this. The Guardians go up one. The Bullheads go down one. The Blackbirds go up. The Walleyes go up one. Stallions have gone down uh, uh, one, I believe. They're 0-3 so far this season. They are not doing so well. Their offense is not explosive as it used to be. The Medal have gone up. And the Redcoats have fallen down three spots. The Redcoats are failing to match their success the past couple seasons. And they've fallen out of the top five. And they're going to keep falling for the next few uh, weeks, most likely. They look like they have no explosiveness and just don't look great. And now, we're going to look at the Stallions lineup here. The biggest pro of their team is their potent offense. Now, it's not as potent as it used to be. They used to have one of the best offenses in the league with the best quarterback, one of the best running backs, best receiving cores. But now, with Mauricio McNally getting older and Emerson Haggard coming in to play for the Stallions from the Walleyes, I believe, um, they're not playing as well as they used to and what doesn't help is their awful pass defense now mike fine has been throwing a lot of picks so if their defense looks a little better than usual that's probably why but let's get to the game here we are for first play of the game patrick anderson under center with their uh starting running back Bo hendrick anderson drops back surveys the field throws it to the left side it's dropped by the tight end what a bad drop right there. I believe Sidney Foster was on the coverage that caused the drop. Now second down and 10. Anderson still under center. He gets pressure from the left side, and it's Brandon Dorsey with another big sack this season. He's been heating up over this whole entire season. Every game, he gets better and better and better. And the Stallions lack a good offensive line, especially on that left side. Anderson now trying to throw on the run, and has almost gotten to the receiver, but he's hit as he throws, and it's now Dragon's Ball after the punt. Angel Aikens gets the uh, stretch play right there, only a gain, or sorry, not even a gain. He loses two, and they call no huddle. Mike Fine under center. He sits down, and throws to where he said to Shepard, who makes the catch in traffic. It falls forward for a gain of about six. Third down and six now. Can they make this first down happen? Fine. Sits in the pocket. He gets pressure. Throws to the right side. It's intercepted. What a bad throw by Mike Fine. It's Stallion's ball. Anderson here. The best quarterback in the league throws a dot over the middle to Everson Haggard down the field for the first down. As he is getting hit with a sack, he throws an absolute dot. And again, he throws down the field for a touchdown. What a play. Let's see that one more time. He just throws it perfectly in the hands of the tight end for the touchdown. Patrick Anderson shown why he's the best quarterback in the league. Rumor is that from free agency, he's going to be a free agent. So will he come back to the Stallions? We don't know. But after the punt, the Dragons can't do anything. Get stopped on third down. They're forced to punt. 
So the Stallions have another chance here against this young defense. And it's a draw play for Bo Hendrick. Hendrick goes up the field and jukes out one defender and gets a gain of four. Again, Anderson steps back, slings it over the middle, and it's caught! And will he go all the way? He cannot. But what a play for the backup receiver, number 82. And again, Anderson is under center again. And down to the right side of Mauricio McNally, the former Wolf that we saw years ago, showing that he still has the speed and route running to be successful in this league. Now Anderson sits in the pocket, throws on the run perfectly, and it's almost intercepted by Ezekiel Freeman. Zeke right there was for the go for the pick, but it was dropped. And now the Stallions gotta go for the field goal. And it's through the uprights. Stallions are up 10 to 0. And again, it's Dragon's ball, and they throw it to Angel Aikens out of the backfield. He gets a good few yards there for about six. Mike Fine needs to get hot here. Let's see that that was an amazing catch on the run right there for Angel Aikens, but he gets blasted out of bounds. But he's still playing. He's one of the toughest players in the league. Fine throws it short, and it's dropped by Hunt. Sorry, did not know who that was. Brian Hunt has had a really good season so far, but he dropped that pass. And again, it's a laser, but it's intercepted by Parker Johnson, the linebacker for the Stallion. Anderson changing the play at the line. And he gives it to Hendrick. He chucks one defender, goes up the middle of the field, and gets a first down. And again, Anderson here. He surveys. He throws it over the middle to Hill, who makes another amazing grab. Hill has been on fire. He has... I believe two touchdowns, or not two touchdowns. He has a touchdown and another big game on the game, and that's another first down for him, and now he throws it to the left side. And that's Emerson Haggard, the red zone threat right there, with a great catch. Now Anderson sits in the pocket, throws to the right side, and it's caught for the touchdown. Mauricio McNally on that out route. And now the Stallions are going to be up 17-0. Dragons need something to happen here. They go up the middle on the dive for about three with Angel Akins. After a bad play on second down, it's third down and six. They call no huddle. Mike Fine in the shotgun. He steps back. He gets rushed. He throws a dot to Hunt on the left side. Hunt breaks the tackle. He jukes and gets wrapped up at the 32-yard line. What a play for Brian Hunt. Now Fine sitting in the bucket gets rushed. He throws it over the middle. And it's intercepted after the tip. Oh my goodness. Fine is having a horrible game. And a horrible season. I just don't think he's the type of player that can run a Montana Young offense. And now Anderson and the Stallions back on the field. And it's intercepted by Guzman. He jumped the pass of a former MVP, Patrick Anderson. What a play by Guzman, showing that he is worth every cent. And now, fine, sits a bucket, lobs it over the middle for Madison, who makes the catch for the first down. And now, the backup leaper is in the game. He's scrambling here, gets the first down. Leaper is not an athletic freak at all, but he can scramble if he needs to. He's the backup quarterback for the Dragons. He has been for years. Second down and 12 now, Leaper in the shotgun. He stops, he steps back. He throws the ball down the field. It's intercepted. What a bad pass to the tight end, Jackson. They're gonna bring it back around to the 21 yard line. But it's defensive pass interference that caused the pick. And it's first and goal 
for the San Francisco Dragons. Leeper has another shot here. First down and goal for the Dragons. Leeper steps back, throws it over the top, and it's almost intercepted again. First and goal. Or sorry, second and goal. They give it to Angel Akins who dives, but just can't get to the end zone. He was so close right there. Now, first, now third and goal. Leaper sits in the pocket, lobs it, and it's Shepard who makes the catch. Gets pushed into the end zone for the touchdown. Dragons do look a little better with Leaper there, but Leaper obviously shows that he's not an amazing passer. His lob, it, his lob pass is not very good. But he does have the speed to run this Montana Young offense. And now Patrick Anderson sits in the pocket. Those are short, but he is stopped. At the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 for this Stallions team. Anderson needs to come back from that uh, bad pick to Guzman. He's in under center. He drops back. No pressure. He throws to the left side. It's intercepted by Nick McCarthy. McCarthy picks the ball off after the tip. And it's Dragon's ball. They have all the momentum in the world now. They just got to capitalize on it. Leaper has short field here at the 25-yard line. He drops back. Surveys. Throws it deep to Welker who makes the catch but can't get his feet inbound. I personally think he got his feet in, but they're not going to call a challenge there. Second down and 10. Leaper sits in the pocket. He throws on the run, and it's overthrown just barely over Hunt's head. Hunt just didn't get his hands up for the pass. And again, Leaper sits in the pocket. He, and as he throws, he gets sacked by Del McHugh. One of the best D tackles in the league. And now Dragons have to settle for the field goal, but they don't kick it well, and it goes way too short. It's Stallion's ball again. Anderson, he pump fakes, and he gets sacked by Brandon Dorsey, who came flying off that edge. What a, what a play by Brandon Dorsey. He's been showing that he was the best player in that draft class last year. Now Anderson throws it to the left side. It's almost caught. But Sidney Foster was right there for the tackle and the deflection. Third down and 11 for the Stallions team. Bo Hendrick is under center, or er, behind Anderson. Anderson sees someone up, he throws it deep, and that's a catch. Oh my goodness, and that's a touchdown for the Stallions. What a play. Let's see that again. The slot receiver right there just did an amazing post move. Down the middle of the field, and Guzman got burnt. What a play for number 88 right there. And now Leaper sits under the pressure and can't make the pass. It is dropped in traffic. Leaper, 20-year vet, sits in the pocket. He's going to take it himself. He slides, and he doesn't get the first down, but he's only three yards away. Dragons are close here for getting this first down here. Leaper stands up in the pocket. Throws the left side to Welker. Welker makes the catch. And that's a first down. Welker on that great out route right there. And now they give it to Cusco. I mean, he breaks one tackle. Goes down the sideline. He jukes and gets pushed out of bounds. The veteran running back showing that he still got power. Now Leaper sits in the pocket, he throws to the left side of Jackson, who makes the catch for the first. Down 24-7, they need to score here. Leaper steps back, wide open receiver and Angel Akins, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but nothing more. They call no huddle with only 2.40 to go in this half. And Leaper steps back, throws over the middle of the field, and it's almost intercepted. It's third and goal now. What can the Dragons do in this red zone play? Leaper throws it to the left side. It's dropped by Jackson in the end zone. 
It's fourth and goal. They, they're going to go for the field goal. Be down by two touchdowns. And the ball is kicked. And it's through the uprights. Dallas is only up by two touchdowns. That's the end of the first half. And welcome to the halftime show. If you want to become uh, part of the halftime show with your name up here, join the Patreon link in the description down below. As well, the Discord is also in the description. Um, just add your player names there, and you'll be added to the draft class uh, this coming season. Thank you for all the support, all the likes. Uh, I'm up to 57 subscribers. Um, recording this video, I've been, I started making my roster a year ago. So thank you for all the support, and let's get back into the video. Now back here, second down and six leapers in the pocket, and he gets pressured on the right side and gets sacked for a humongous loss by number 93. Now third down and 15. Leaper needs something to happen here. He sits in the pocket. He throws it deep to Shepard, who can't make the catch, and it's fourth down. They're going for it here. Leaper in the shotgun steps back. He gets a little bit of pressure. He throws over the middle. It's intercepted again. Another big interception for the Stallions defense. Well, and it goes back all the way for a pick six. Oh my goodness. John Thompson, the veteran CB right there, jumped the pass. And now they're down by 21 points. Now Hunt over the middle of the field after that pick six. This makes an amazing catch in traffic. He showed that in college. One more time, just as he catches it, he gets obliterated, but he is one tough son of a gun. Now Leaper in the shotgun. Drops back. He throws deep, and it's caught by Davon Welker. In traffic, what a play. They look so much better with Leaper than Mike Fine. Leaper sits in the pocket now, throws it to the left side to Welker, who drops the easy pass. I don't get how he can catch it between two defenders, but yet when he's wide open, nothing. Now Leaper sits in the pocket, throws to the left side to Angel Akins, who makes the catch in a gain of five. Now Leaper's in the empty. He looks down the field, he throws it to Cooper, the starting tight end for the first down. Leaper again gets pressured. He throws as he gets hit, and that's Shepard for a touchdown. Leaper is showing the potential of this Montana Young offense. Shepard is on fire this season. He's leading the league in receptions. It's Patrick Anderson and Stallion's ball here. He steps back. Anderson avoids one second. As he gets hit, he throws, but it's incomplete. Anderson has a sixth sense in the pocket. He steps back. He throws down the field, and it's caught by Emerson Haggard for the first. And again, Anderson throws down the field. It's intercepted by Ezekiel Freeman. He jumped the pass out of nowhere. Anderson just threw it. And he just threw a slightly behind Mauricio McNally. And now Angel Akins gets the handoff for a loss of yards. About one, I would say. Leaper still starting at quarterback here. He steps back. And he gets sacked by Del McHugh again. The veteran D tackle showing that he's still a home wrecker here. Now Leaper sits in the pocket, throws it deep, and it's almost intercepted. They're forced to punt, but they're going for it on fourth down and 19. They have nothing to lose here. Leaper sits in the pocket, they throw it deep, and Davon Welker just can't jump high enough. It's overthrown, and it's Stallion's ball at their at San Francisco's 42-yard line. They probably should have punted it. Now Anderson sits in the bucket, throws to the left side to Hill. Hill makes a catch and gets the first down. Fedor Hill is on fire here. Absolutely exploiting this Dragons defense. And now Bo Hendrick gets the ball. He spins and gets stopped near the line of scrimmage. Only gain of two. And they're now stuck on third down and eight.
Anderson is under center. He drops back. He throws to the right side to Hendrick, who gets blown up in the backfield. A big loss of yards there. Let's see that one more time. This Brandon Dorsey coming out of nowhere, laying a big hit stick. And now it's fourth down and 13. They're going for the field goal. It's up, and it's through the uprights. A 50-yard field goal right there. Dragons are now down by 17 points. Leaper in the pocket here. Throws the right side of Shepard, who makes the catch and near the first down. Dragons need something to happen on this drive. They throw it over the middle to Hunt. Hunt drops the ball. It's third down and long now. Leaper needs to make a decision. He throws to Welker, who's wide open. That's a first down. Davon Welker with an amazing catch right there. And on the play action, Leaper using his running ability throws deep. And it's caught by Shepard for the first down. He barely had enough oomph to get the ball there. But oh my goodness, what a throw by Leaper. He's so much better than Mike Fine. Leaper sits in the pocket here. He throws over the middle. And it's almost intercepted. Just slightly off the mark. Leaper under center again drops back he gets pressured left side he throws over the middle to Welker no one can jump up for the ball and it's caught for Welker they're on the goal line they give it to Angel for the touchdown after the extra point they're only going to be down by 10 it's Stallion's ball Anderson under center gets pressured throws a horrible pass and it's incomplete third down and two Patrick Anderson and the Stallions. Can they keep the momentum they have? And Hendrick gets stopped for the first. The Dragons really need a stop right there. Can the Stallions keep moving here? Anderson under center. Drops back, gives it to Bo Hendrick. Hendrick makes a move and gets about three on the game. Again, Anderson sits in the pocket, throws to the right side. Then Mauricio McNally, who spins. Oh no, open field. He gets tackled at the 41. This is not what the Dragons needed. First down and 10 now. Patrick Anderson needs something to go for this Stallions offense. He gives a drop play to Hendrick, who goes forward for about three. This Dragons defense looks tired they've made a bunch of plays they've made some stops but they just look tired anderson now thrown to the left side of hendrick again who spins it gets stopped near the goal or near the uh, line of scrimmage i should say and again anderson if they score one more time the game will be over they throw over the middle to mcnally for the first Here we are now. Third down, 13. Dragons need a stop here. They give it to the backup running back, and that's a stop on fourth down by Nick McCarthy, one of the draft picks from this last draft. He's been real special this game, but now the Stallions are going for a field goal. The snap is up. The kick is through the uprights. And the Stallions are going to win this game, but the Dragons are going to try their hardest to score at least one more time here. Leaper is under center. He drops back, throws to the right side. It's tipped in and it's picked off. And it's going to be taken back for another pick six by the Stallions defense. And the game will be over. Stallions win 44-24. to If you enjoyed this game, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.